Hey guys, today is part two of this room makeover. You may recognize this part of my studio, all clean and organized, right? But this is what my full desk looks like. And this is the harsh reality. The Monstera is the only one thriving here. And the other side isn't better. The drawers are overflowing. I can't see everything at a glance, so it's really not convenient. Recently I've been sent stickers and papers and mm, they're just stacked here, homeless. I finally decided I'm done procrastinating. I need an organized, inspiring space. Bye bye chaos, you won't be missed. So first I built a Kallax from IKEA which is a great storage unit because you can easily customize it. I'm really not good with tools, but I managed to add doors and drawers and I'm really happy with the result. And to finish this part, I just added white storage boxes everywhere. It makes dusting a lot easier and it looks a lot more put together. Okay, so I've taken everything out just to get an idea of where each category could fit. But it really looks like an infinite ocean of stationery. And these should help me organize, so let's go! So first, everyday necessities. Paper clips, corner puncher, erasers, glue tapes, notepads and scissors. And then my pens. This pouch was ridiculously overflowing. Now my Crayolas by Tone, Gold, Almond and Pink. Zebra Midliners. Next I've organized my stickers by size. Within each category, I group them by shop. I keep together those that come in several colors. In this format, I can keep small sheets horizontally. This system will help me see it all easily in one place. For clear, transparent stickers, I use a white paper so that I can see them on each side. And I decided to also keep papers here because the more in the same place, the better. For little freebie sheets, I use business card sleeves and I cut the whole part.
For steamed stickers, I add the icons that come at the back. And finally, I put there some vintage stickers. Recently you've seen me use those sticker albums. I think that they're very convenient because they're easy to organize and already sorted by color or theme. Here I'll keep my vintage transparent stickers. And here my fall theme transparent stickers. Finally, here I have freebies, die-cut flakes and vintage papers, flakes, dry flowers and so on. Here I keep my paper bundles, dictionary and poems. I'm going to use this binder to keep transparent stamps. I have a more reasonable collection, so don't worry, it's real quick. This organizer will hold my rulers and envelopes. And yes, I do keep plastic bags. This container will hold my newest washi tapes. I like to be able to see them all from above. And I try to keep all the collections together. And now, let's keep it all out of the view. First, my collection of new notebooks. By the way, I did a video with my notebooks reviews, so I'm gonna link this now, so you can watch it if you're interested. I'm also starting to accumulate a little collection of tiny cute notebooks I find at the dollar store. I haven't even started to use one yet, so tell me in the comments how I should use it. I've stopped buying them until they have a purpose. In the first drawer I'm keeping the more basic washi tapes. And in the second and third drawers I'm keeping collections of washi tapes. So I know there's plenty of room left and that's great because I'm going to receive a lot more soon. You'll see. In the last drawer I'm keeping my wooden stamps and inks. And here I'm keeping pens or markers I use less and leftovers from the transparent sleeves I used before for future sticker sheets. In the first white box I'm keeping all my papers, craft paper, vellum paper and old books I use for more of collaging themes. Then the second box will hold my mini printer and label printers. 
in this one I have all the props I use for the car, for my pictures. And now let's go with my desk drawers. Here I'll keep all that I need more at hand. So pens, scissors, notepads, erasers and paper clips and my corner cutter and glue tapes. Here I'll have my brush pens, so Tombows, Zebras and Crayolas. This drawer is for all the sticker sheets, papers, sticker flakes and so on. Here I'll have my rulers and envelopes. And finally here I'll have my paint pens. Now with the last storage unit. I'm keeping my old bujos inside. As well as my easel and sketchbooks. Underneath I'll have the canvases, my gouache and watercolor paints are already inside the easel. And finally I'll keep here all my acrylic paint and arts and crafts I pretend to use someday, like air dry clay and macrame. And now with the last part, the decor. I think that's my favorite part. So while I was organizing everything, I found this painting I did of a mouse I had not long ago, whose name was Balu. And I loved her very much. And she was my first pet as an adult. And so I painted her in her favorite sleeping position on her head in her favorite flower, which is a dandelion. Strangely enough, I still like this painting very much. So it's gonna stand here on my desk for me to see it every day. I'm also keeping my paint palette and some canvases at hand just to make it easier to grab and start painting. I'm adding here and there dried flowers and artificial plants hanging for low maintenance. This Monstera is very real, believe me. She's thriving in this tropical climate we have upstairs. And this one is artificial, but I love it. And I've tried to maintain a real one, but she died on me. And I found those framed dried flowers on sale and I just love them. I think they fit the boho aesthetic so well. Guys, it's done! 
I can't believe it, I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you. Oh, I love it. It took me a few days. Okay, let me show you now. I'm so happy to have now my personalized space with my aesthetic fitting the aesthetic of the guest room on the other side. You can see it in the previous video if you missed it. But more than anything, I'm really excited to have everything in its own place and being able to find anything I need at hand. I'm really excited to create in this space. In fact, I've already created my October theme here and I think that somehow it got a bit influenced by the decor. I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found some inspiration on how to organize your own stationery or decorate your space. I leave you now with the music to enjoy the rest of the tour and I'll see you soon on my next video. Until then, enjoy planning!